There was new information this morning on how much the Justice Department knew about the controversial tactic of letting guns walk into the hands of criminals. Investigative correspondent Cheryl Atkinson first broke the story. She joins us from Washington this morning with the latest update. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, Erica. The Department of Justice, as you may know, has insisted for months that it knew nothing of the use of gun walking to investigate Mexican drug cartels. But new documents turned over to Congress late yesterday show a senior justice official knew that its own agency, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, let a large number of guns walk in a case that goes back to 2006. That official, Lanny Brewer, acknowledged yesterday that he learned about the gun walking at least 18 months ago and did not take any steps to ensure that such controversial techniques were not being used in other of their federal investigations. Brewer said in a statement yesterday he now regrets not alerting others within the leadership of the Department of Justice to those controversial tactics when they first came to his attention. When new gun walking allegations arose earlier this year, Brewer said he did not draw a connection to the unacceptable tactics used by ATF years earlier, but called it a mistake not to have alerted the Justice Department leadership that it had happened before. Last night, Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa, who's been investigating, said, quote, Despite their denials of gun walking, it appears that senior Justice Department officials clearly knew that gun walking had happened previously and ignored the red flags that it was happening again in a newer case called Fast and Furious. Brewer, that high-ranking senior justice official, as it happens, is scheduled to testify today before a Senate subcommittee and will likely be asked about all of this. Erica? Michelle, it's Chris here. I'm going to take this from you real quick. How did the material come to light? Well, the Justice Department turned over about 650 pages of documents, and that was due to a congressional subpoena. Investigators are going to be pouring over them in detail over the next couple of days to see if they can piece together more about who thought up the dangerous gun-walking scheme, who approved of it, and who knew of it. CBS's Cheryl Atkinson in Washington this morning. Cheryl, thanks.